Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Minecraft. This is part four, and in the last episode we went to the nether and made this beautiful interior. And in this episode we're going to be working on this area down here. <laughs> uh, we're going to be building a brewing room. Now this isn't going to be anything crazy. In fact, it's very simple, um, so no need to uh, get really into this. It will be quick, um, but let's go ahead and start. I'm going to put some trap chest over here and then some chest right there and that will be for our supplies don't know why this is like that so we're gonna have to fix that and then I'm gonna put this here and we're going to get the hoppers and this one is going to go right down on this one and this one into that one and then we're going to get some crafting stuff and place it as so and then I'm gonna make another chest and get that there Put it there. What do we do next? Actually, we need to change this into a half slab. That way we can not see it from up there. Grab that and get all the crap out of it. Is there anything in there? No, there is not. And then, you know what? We're actually going to change that to a stair. That way it looks better, I guess. Uh, it won't be as noticeable. So, yeah. There we go. And then we'll put that in there and put a chest there. See what I mean? Not too noticeable. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some cobblestone. That way we can uh, add a little bit of furnaces in there if we need them. And just generally give it some, you know, a better look. So I'm going to make three furnaces. And then we're going to make uh, two... S uh, how does it go? We, yeah, we'll just do that. Um... Put that there, three of those, and then another one there, perhaps. And then what we can do is, oh, okay. Um, let's get rid of that. Do that, and there we go. Then we will change that as well. And down here, we'll put that. And actually, change that. Oh wow, okay. There's sand and dirt there. Um. Good to go. Just go ahead and do that so I can get there. And bam. So what goes down there, you might ask? Water. That's right. That way we can make some water bottles. Gotta go and grab me some more water. Anyways, in the uh, time it has taken from the last episode, we have done, or I have done, quite the m amount. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about that once we get this going. Because I'm in a real big hurry to get this stuff going. I've been wanting, uh, you know, <laughs> um, brewing stuff for a while. But that's pretty much the setup. Whenever I put anything in here, any ingredients, it will immediately go into here. And if I put any, um, you know, um, actually, wait a minute, water bottles will go into here. And then furnace stuff in case we need it. And yeah. And right here we're going to put a trap door which will lead down to a um, place that we can farm nether wart in. But um, that's just generally the thing. So... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and place this down here, and I'll make some, uh, I'll make them as we go, which I don't really have any ingredients right now, so I'll have to wait, but luckily we have it set. So, that's the status on the enchantment, uh, or not the enchantment, but the emerald things, and we're going to go ahead and go down there with, uh, with some diamonds and make, or enchant new tools, so. Let me put all my stuff up, get the seeds in there, and as you can see, I've been farming, oh, I guess you really can't see it through here. Um, I think we're good to go. I'm going to put one carpet in there. And what else do we need? Diamonds. As you can see, I've been getting them. Uh, I've been doing some farming. And I'll explain that right now. So as you... Oh, okay. Well, there's a tree here that I built. Uh, there are some vines in a... Um, what's it called? A... Uh, mm, what are those things called? Swamp. All the way over there. And I'll probably show you guys that here in a little bit. Um, but I built this tree. I didn't record it because I didn't know if it was going to keep it. It was really hit or miss. And I don't know if I like it. Uh, did I build a little... F yes, I did. Okay. So this I don't know if I did on camera. I may have done. Um, I don't know if I like it. It It's good but bad. And then right here we're going to build a custom tree. In the next or this episode. Who knows? Um, depends on how prepared I am. <laughs> Uh, I've been busy this weekend, so it's been kind of hard to record, but I need something for Monday for you guys. So, and as far as it seems, people really like this series so far, so I'm really excited to see what we do with this. Uh, but yeah, so I've been farming a lot, 
just to get materials uh, for the emeralds especially to trade with these guys so I got a separate farm here because they keep hitting these and I can't get the stuff from them so they never grow but these they never touch and I have a uh, fortune 3 pick so whenever I mine these things especially the carrots I get double and these gives me double seeds so that's how I've been getting the wheat and carrots and of course these for the pumpkins uh, you know I could probably actually go ahead and get the remainder of the emeralds that we need for the enchantment room I'm gonna collect these and uh, go trade with the guy I don't know how many I get for just 12 but I know that I have more in the house um, probably takes 10 don't he All right. Let's go get them, and I'll try and get a little bit more. Uh, you know, I could probably also trade carrots, because I could easily get some carrots right now. Just so we can hurry up and fill the fill up the void that we have. Because I really, really want to hurry up and do that, because it's ugly right now. So, we need to go get some carrots, and we should be able to do the rest. I think we're probably close to done, actually. We probably need, like, one more. So I'm going to just, actually, you know what, I don't even need to do the carrots. We should, if we only need one more, we should better do it here. So that will give me five, and we should better make the last one. And I'll make that when we get there. So, yeah. In regards to building the project coming up soon, we're going to start on that probably Friday, just so we can have a good weekend and I can really record some progress. But this weekend, I've been pretty busy. Um... Uh, just stuff that I can't... Where am I going? It's over here. Uh, it's really late as I record this, so keep that in mind. But, um, yeah, just some stuff went has been going on. And, you know, and I had to write a paper for my English class and uh, for college. So I definitely did not want to not end up doing that. Oh, man, this is going to look so much better. I can't wait. You know what? I actually now know that I don't have enough. That sucks. I have enough for one side, but I need two more. But that will look great. I'm really disappointed now. I thought I'd have more. While we're here, let's go ahead and enchant. So, I'm going to make another set of boots just to try and get Death Strider. Or Death Strider, whatever it is. Yes, perfect. I can combine that with these boots. And I'd rather do that on for the uh, stuff right now, for the XP that I have. Although it might take up a lot. 9. Uh, what does this do? A 21. Yep, we're going with 9. Definitely 9. And now we have the world's best boots. Perfect. And I am i don't even have enough now for any other enchant, so we're going to have to wait. <laughs> I feel like I'm in too much of a rush right now, so let's take it back and chill. So if you don't know, uh, Death Strider basically makes it so that you can move quicker in water, which is very cool. And, um... Also, I shot off an ender pearl. Yeah, well, oh wait, what? Yeah, see, you can move quicker. Considerably noticeable, I think. Even then, yeah, there you go. Now you see it. Um, but I shot off an ender pearl in this direction, and it appears that there is an end portal over in this area. So I'm very excited to get that going because I do want to hurry up and battle the guy so we can get some ender pearls. And I'll be working on that soon. But I'm having so much trouble finding endermen. Um, I do have a looting three sword, but I just, they don't spawn. There's no enemies that spawn in this area. Well, that sucks. I just fell. All right. But, um, so yeah, that's my hold back. That's the one setback. And, uh, what are we doing? What is the goal right now? To get carrots, correct. You, you said it. So yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, and, uh, plus, <laughs> I did not mean for that episode I uploaded on Friday to be 30 minutes long. Oh, gosh. I did say I wanted to do that, but after... Whoa, what's going on with the audio? Oh, we're getting close to the farm. Basically, uh, <laughs> I did want to make something long, but not 30 minutes. I know that some of you might like longer episodes like that, but I feel like the majority of people don't have time... Uh, in and out of their house to watch a video that long. So for my benefit, and all, actually for completely my benefit, and also those people who don't have time, I want to make shorter videos. Plus, that'll allow me to do more content. But uh, as far as it seems, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are days where I release this series. Uh, that's how it's been going so far. But don't expect it. If I don't, if I miss a day, don't worry. That just means that I've, I'm busy, because I, I could be. 
Um, plus, you know, with a series where I'm building, motivation might go down a bit. But it's not right now. Uh, no worries. It, it does feel like a while since I've done this series. Um, but that's because the last time I recorded was Thursday, and it's now Sunday. So I'm going to try and hurry up here before nighttime comes. There we go. All right, so I got 11. I need two more. Uh, we have nowhere near enough. I might just change that emerald in here. Although I really like it. I feel like it accents it really well. Hmm. I don't know. But uh, I'll just fill it up in another time, I guess. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is just give the enchantment stuff a try. Um, just that, uh, well... I don't really know what enchantment I could make. There is none. <laughs> um, I guess let's go to the swamp. Ooh, wait. I can make speed. Yes. That is what we will do. Make some speed potions. So I'm going to run over there. The, I do have a uh, sugar cane type farm over here. And I'm going to go run and grab some. But uh, then we're going to go and I'm going to walk over to the swamp area. And we're going to battle out some slimes. That way we can get things going. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and collect some of this stuff and get all the materials ready. And we will go ahead and start brewing up some potions. Hmm, before we do that just for some random adventuring. I, I've walked past this area multiple times. And I, I think this is another spawner. So I want to check it out. Plus I need the sand, so this would be perfect. It is another spawner. Are you kidding me? Okay. I mean, that's good. I'm not... Please don't think I'm mad. Or, is this a skeleton spawner? Dude, no way. Okay, you're going to have to go away. This is a freaking skeleton spawner. We already have one close to here. That's perfect. That means I can make another one. Or at least uh, make this an auto-killing one. Oh, that's what we will do. Since I'm always needing bones, I'll just make this an auto-bone-killing one. So it'll just constantly create bones for me. And if uh, I already have... Like, oh, that'll be perfect. Yes. I'm going to do that. Not right now, though. We'll do that another time. I'll at least include the final bit of it. But we can raid it. That, that'll be fun. Plus, I may need the gunpowder. But, uh, yeah, so I will, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so I've gone ahead and made a few potions. And the way this works, just before we head out to the swamp biome, I'm going to show you guys how exactly I do this. So basically, what you do is you get all of your ingredients. So this is just in case you want one in your map or something. Basically put water bottles in this chest, which lead into this hopper, which conveniently lean to the bottom area where the bottles go on a brewing stand. You can also put a hopper right on top of it and put the ingredients in the order that they go. And they will start cooking. And uh, I would just do this as your setup. It, it allows it to be done quicker and better. I uh, have a little bit of a um, pool at the bottom to make your bottles and just let it go and as you can see once this finishes and bam as you can see it made an awkward potion then it'll make it a speed then redstone then gunpowder and it works properly now this is a kind of um like tier one type machine because uh you can't really put more than one um potion like thing in here it, it goes in the order of potions that it go, uh, does. So it's one potion at a time. Well, three at a time, really. One potion, like, specific one at a time, though. But yeah, as you can see, it's running through. So that's how that works. And uh, let me just make sure I have everything I want before we head out. And I do. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start running there. But, um, oh, ah, oh, man, I just wasted one. Totally just wasted one. But, uh, yeah, so I've done a lot of exploring in this world, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and take the ocean, because I have Death Strider, as you can see, it makes me quicker, plus I have a potion, so it'd be no different if I was on land. But, um, anyways, I've done a lot of exploring on this world, uh, and I've been able to find a lot of biomes, because uh, lately a lot of the worlds have had this issue, but um, as you can see, there's the swamp biome. Uh, but a lot of my worlds have the same biomes for a long time all around it, and it's really annoying. I don't know why it's doing it, but it does. So I have to go explore and explore and explore, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
but so far I've found about every biome possible, except for a jungle and a mesa biome. Those are the only ones I haven't found, and I've gone about 2,000 blocks in all directions, so it's pretty scary. <laughs> I'll probably have to travel through portals for a while, but um, there are many reasons we are in a swamp biome right now. One, I want slime blocks, and two, I want these flowers, these blue flowers. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Um, but let's be honest, they look good. They really do. I don't know why, but they do. And I'm getting some weird lag, which I'm going to need to stop before um, the uh, nighttime comes around so I can have an uninterrupted battle with slimes. But uh, actually, it looks like it's good now. I think it only does it when it generates new chunks. But um, yeah, so while we wait for the night, because I don't know where. Yeah, we're getting close. I'm just going to go around collecting these. I am building a new computer. And it's been a few months since I started. But uh, sadly, I don't get paid a million dollars. So, <laughs> yeah, it takes a while. The build estimates at around $1,500. And I already have half of the, the you know, things for it. Uh, and I'm getting an i7 4000K series uh... for the processor i have a graphics card that is uh, the nvidia gtx 750 ti and the motherboard is a z97 gaming uh... m power series uh, msi board and for the ram i'm gonna have thirty two gigs but starting out at sixteen <laughs> and uh... what else i can't think of anything else uh... it's gonna be with uh, ssd and all that fun stuff so it should be really quick probably going to be recording to an SSD so hopefully things like my uh, recordings will go much quicker um, I'm really praying that I can edit and record even live stream do all this stuff at much quicker speeds and uh, even run things like shader pack and much more games because that's the only reason I don't have many games on my channel at the moment my graphics card is probably about to be dead and that's why I'm wanting to build this now and be ahead of the uh, problem. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and grab a few of these uh, lily pads while I'm waiting. But, yeah. Uh, I do want to make a video. You know what? I, I feel like I'm faster in the water than I am on the land. I think I am. Wow. But, uh, yeah. So, I do want to make a video on my build. I don't know if I will, though. <laughs> I'll probably do a review build uh, or a review of all the parts. One by one by one. I've already done a graphics card one, power supply one, and that's it. You can check those on my channel. Yeah, I have done reviews and unboxings. <laughs> I know. Uh, but I'll do one on the motherboard and the processor too. They're not necessarily reviews, but just unboxings because I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and prepare for the night here. And I'm going to give you guys a little montage of me going around killing enemies and hoping for one Enderman and two Slimes. So let's do this. Alright, so that was a pretty good rundown. I got some clay for the flower pot that I want to make. And I've also got some ender pearls. As you saw, I got some endermen. And look at that, I got six ender pearls. That's great. I need that a lot. Got some slime balls and got some other things that we need, uh, like gunpowder. Got a lot of that. 
some bones and some arrows. I love having a looting sword. It makes things so much easier. Uh, I don't need the arrows in there. Um, in fact, I don't really need the arrows at all. <laughs> I'll put the lily pads and junk like that in there. Just for now. Um, now where does that go? I think here. No, here. Yes. Uh, Alright. So what do I want to do now? Um, we're coming to an end, actually. I want to make a redstone device, though. Something that is going to be a little hard. I need a planet first. I need to figure out what exactly I need for it. But I just wanted to show you guys what exactly we got from that little montage. So you now know there is a swamp biome near me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make this flower pot. And uh, go ahead and place this where I wanted it. Which is right here. And I wanted to just put that there for a little bit of looks. And it adds a little bit of color into the area. A new color anyways. And uh, yeah, so that's generally that room. Um, and then I'll just put the rest of it in here. But I'm going to go ahead and prepare a little bit. Uh, and yeah, so I will see you guys once I do this. Alright guys, so now for the finale of episode 4, we're going to make a one-hit beatdown. So... <laughs> That is what I wanted to build. Um, we're going to go ahead and build it now. So I need to change these blocks. I'm hoping I don't release these skeletons because I do have them kind of hidden right now. First things first, I'm going to put this button here. Um, actually, I need to make one more repeater now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam. Alright, so basically we need this. to go ahead and go all the way into let's see which block will it be well first i guess we'll go ahead and place the main ingredients so this i'm going to change into that and that is where our dispenser goes i don't have any lava dang i totally forgot to get lava but i know where some is so it's okay um basically this uses lava to get um enemies down to one percent and um basically it'll just speed up time and also save swords so that is the only reason I'm doing this I guess I better stand on the stone just in case did it not get any it did actually I don't know where I got all the buckets I think it came from that skeleton spawner that I found anyways not this one the other one um <laughs> but yeah uh this I found from mumbo jumbo in a 10 uh, redstone devices that you absolutely need video I think it's exactly what it's called oh crap you know what I didn't do right this I gotta put that first then put that in there and then once I've done that um, basically I just have to get all this out of here remove this and place one there make this two ticks make this four ticks put a piston here put a block on top fill the area with light so that nothing spawns back here and then I need to make the button work. And the button needs to go into this block over here. So basically, I, in order to do that, I have to... I think that'll work, actually. It does. Okay, perfect. So I don't need that other repeater. Alright, now that I've done that, I'm going to just place that there. And, and as you can see, it's perfect. So let's go ahead and get some enemies down here to see if it works. Um, hopefully it does. Oh man, I really hope that didn't back it up. Alright, that should be enough. So what it'll do is hit them once, and then that should... Oh, it's going to get rid of that carpet. Oh, well, that's fine. This should bring them down to just enough to where I can hit them once and take them out. I really hope so, or else I did something wrong. There we go. Okay, cool. So that works. That makes me really happy, because now I don't even need a sword. I can use a sword, which I probably will <laughs> just for the looting, but... Man, that's good. That's very good news. Anyways, that is the gist of that. So the button's here, and that is how you do that. Uh, wow, I'm really happy that worked. So this has been a good episode so far. Um, we've got a lot done, as well as these awesome boots that I'm really happy about. Got the emerald in. Uh, we went to the swamp biome and got some emeralds. I mean, not emeralds. Um, what are they called? Uh, ender pearls. That's it. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed... Uh, have a very good week. This Friday is when we will start our main build. Hopefully, maybe. 
I don't know what we'd be doing next episode. We'll pr maybe go to the end and battle the end dragon. Or at least find a stronghold. It depends on how long it takes. But uh, I definitely want to do that. So I'll prepare for that. And in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you again Wednesday most likely. And we'll try and battle the ender dragon. So yeah. Thanks for watching.